Hi everybody, if you were hit by last year's drought here in Europe, then get ready, because it looks like it's going to happen again. So do you think work 2023 is going to look a lot like 2022? At the moment, yes. Yeah. If we saw, if we see the evolution of the last months, uh, it, it really resembles the 2022. Andrea Toretti there, one of my guests on a Climate Now live debate we just had on how the water cycle is changing. And there are plenty of changes underway. One thing that is particularly worrying is, uh, is winter drought. That winter drought phenomenon can be seen in this map showing the lower number of wet days last year. Basically, there isn't enough drizzle. Good rainfall to stop drought is when it drizzles for a long time right. and then it can go slowly infiltrate in the soil. We have these intense heavy precipitation events which run off um, so there's there's few intense events and, and less of this gentle drizzle um, that many people who live in Britain are intimately familiar with or used to be and, and that's happening a lot less frequently than it used to. So if future weather patterns involve prolonged droughts and then occasional downpours, what should we do? So plant more trees uh, is, is your solution. Yeah, indeed. Reforestation would help to keep more water. Green spaces in cities as well, slowing down rivers. So there's a lot of nature-based solutions to, to really mm. keep the water in the landscape rather than let it run out to sea. So we have to uh, help forecasting this uh, draft year and try to use the water when it's available. Use the water when it's available and use the data too, like river discharge maps or information about the number of snow days or precipitation. And remember that nature is dynamic. It reacts and adapts. The air is getting hot and when the air is hotter, it can take up more water and will soak up more water from vegetation and from soils. And the other thing that happens is vegetation is smart. It will turn down its, uh, its photosynthesis um, and save water. It's basically a sign that we're pushing the vegetation to its limit. Reacting and adapting is exactly what we need to do too. So the reality is that Europe is warming faster than anywhere else, any other land area on the planet. So climate change isn't a future problem, it is a problem for now. Follow the link in the description to watch the full one hour debate and go over to euronews.com slash climate now for more information on how our planet is changing. I'll see you soon.